unas plantillas para que todos tengan eso en mente. So we have, hey, what's, what is going on, Larry? How's it going, man? How you doing, buddy? How you doing? I'm doing great, man. Thank you very much for asking. How about yourself? Hey, I'm, I'm doing great, man. Just, uh, just chilling, just chilling I've today. Been, I'm doing good, but I uh, just, just uh, knowing, learning a lot of things in this for this, from this experience in call centers, man. It is an industry where you can learn a lot. You can learn a lot. Definitely. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. So officially, let me congratulate on your new position, man. Congratulations. Larry, guys, Larry was with us in our uh, program, the job interview preparation. And uh, we were talking how to answer the questions. We were talking how to nail the role play. And now finally, he just got the position. Can you tell us a little bit about your experience at the nesting program? Oh, man. I, I just going to tell you, man. Your program, you mean, is, is amazing <laughs> because every single question that they, that the the recruiter asked me, I have already uh, practiced it in your course, man. <laughs> I was like, "What? I already know this." <laughs> And how how did you feel? How was how was your let's say um, level of confidence at that moment? When you know the question, when you know the question, how was your oh. level of confidence? Yeah, man, it was for sure better than if I wouldn't practice it. <laughs> But uh, really good confidence after after I passed the first the first test with the recruitment, you you gain more confidence and more confidence with the OM and other things and other things. Uh, yeah, but you you feel confident because you know you have done your work. That's because right. it's not it's not just the 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 seven or eight hours that we spend in the in the week in the week around in in the week in the in the classes in the lessons. It's not just that. It's the homework that you gave us to your students. Like you need to do this alone in the week in the week. So if yeah. you do the if you do your homework, you're going to be prepared. That's, that's it. That. Yeah, and uh, if you do your homework and you practice and you come to class, that's the key. And I guarantee you, yeah, that's that it. you're gonna you're gonna get a job in a call center. Do your homework, that's come it, to man. class and practice. I guarantee you, you're gonna get a job in a call center. Why? Uh, because I've been there. I have helped. Thanks God, a couple of hundreds of students, right? I'm not going to say thousands because I would be lying to you, but hundreds of students by now. And our mission here in SNCC is to help as many people as possible, right? But Larry, anyway, man, thank you very much for connecting. Thank you very much for sharing a little bit. I, I have this type of comments from my students. Nestor, I went to X, Y, and Z call center. And guess what? I failed the, the questions really easy man I, i i never thought that it's gonna be super easy and uh, why what did they ask they asked me this and this and this this is something that we have been practicing and i and i knew how to answer that and 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 i got hired and i was like a good for you good for you so that's the key right that's the key fantastic and that's uh, it, I, man. That's i know it. i know that you cannot talk about the the account itself yeah but can you can you say Do you like it? Uh, I know that you have been learning a lot. And um, is it possible that you can encourage? What, 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 what are the type of things that you can say to those people and encourage those people to jump in in the call center industry? Well, I think call centers is a good platform to learn a lot of soft skills. I think in the... In the job industry, in the laboral industry, it's important to learn soft skills and call centers are perfect for that. So I can just encourage uh, uh, the people to jump in your course, man, because uh, it's really good. But about the campaign, man, 
something that just uh, led me out of words is like, you told me, man, you need to work in your confidence. You are good. You are good. You remember that, man? Yeah, I remember. <laughs> and yeah, uh, and I am in the in the premium accounting in <laughs> in that call center, <laughs> and, and I'm not. I'm not just in one account that is, you know, when you get in in a call center, it's you want just to get in. Yeah. You, you just want to get in in any campaign, you know, but just uh, because of my hard work and because of your lessons, I could get in in the premium campaign, in a premium campaign that you can earn some good money. <laughs> you can make more, even more, right? Even just above yeah. the average just above the average and now yeah. larry just to just for you to know uh just just uh because this is the first step right and now here nesting you have two options uh you have either the option of growing there in the call center where you're at or the second option which is work from home but if you would like to work from home i suggest you first at least at least at least have some experience in the call center industry. All righty? Yeah, man. They 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 had already they have already offered me to work from home after but, uh, the training uh -huh. and the after nesting. That. Okay. But but uh, I don't want it because uh, this campaign is, is okay. There are some campaigns like the the knowledge is a little <laughs> it's a little the system is small. And, but you have to handle a lot of customer and angry customer and back to back. That's but true. in this campaign, we just have like 20 calls at the day. Okay, or that's, seven, that's cool, 70. Man. That's cool. That's few, cool. Just a few. But but the knowledge that you have to have is a lot. It's, 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 big. it's a lot. So uh, it's better to be in the floor. It's better to be on site at least for I don't know, two or three months. No, I'm talking about I'm talking about working for uh, companies and from home, but not from call centers here in Nicaragua. From other call centers outside Nicaragua, doing your own outsourcing. Oh, I I'm, talking about that. I'm talking about that. But uh, so whenever you feel ready, whenever you would like to jump into that other type of industry, the other side of the industry, which is even deeper, I'm going to be just right there. OK, my friend. OK, man. Um, there are a lot of people now from my social environment, friends, family that just asking me about the courses, man. Hey, man, you just spent three months on that course and that and. You are how in a call center already. How, how that how come? come? <laughs> how come you're in a call center now? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's wonderful, A lot of people man. is going to be going to ask you some information, for sure. Fantastic, man. Um, yes, we have a, a course available. We're going to start this, this coming August 20th, right? We're going to have another group. And uh, people or the, the people that they, they have been asking you, Larry, if they are interested, just let us uh, let them know that we are just receiving the information and sending the information out. Uh, we need to make sure what is the level of English. We need to make sure um, uh, what are the things that they have tried in the past, because every customer in this case, every student is different. I cannot apply the same strategies with everybody at the same time. It's impossible because there are some students that need pronunciation. There are some students that need fluency. There are some students that need uh, some kind of confidence, confidence, right? <laughs> so it, it, the treatment is different, right? And um, yeah, that's the idea. That's the idea to help them so they can have the opportunity to have better job opportunities, help their family, uh grow professionally and so on and uh, for yeah. the people that I, are watching right now tiktok and youtube and the link of this book and this uh this video right or this live event there is a link that it says more information about our program and i'm gonna be more than happy to send you the information larry would you like to say something yeah. else before we leave 
No, no, man. Just that. That's the key, I think. The personalization that you have in your courses, man. Uh, because you treat every single student different. I mean, like, you need to improve in this, so I'm going to help you that this way. And you need to improve in that, I'm going to help you that way. I think that's the key. And thank you so much, Nestor. Uh, Not a problem, my friend. I Larry. hope very well, everybody, everybody take can... A, take a look at Claudia Chavez's comment. Take, Congratulations, Larry, right? Yes, absolutely. Can you see the comment? Can you see the comment, Larry? Or you don't see the comment? Yeah, man, I can see it. I can <laughs> see it. It's a, right, fr it's a friend of mine. Oh, she's a friend of yours. Okay, it sounds fantastic, man. Fantastic, yeah. beautiful. Um, yes, as you were saying, there is a 80-20% rule. The rule is very, very simple. Focus on 20% of your mistakes and you will get 80% of the results. This is something that you apply in economics. You something you apply in math. You something you apply in production. You something you apply in every part of your field uh, of your life. And Larry, one more time. Thank you one more time, my friend. It is such an honor having you today. And I hope I can talk to you in the future. All righty, my boy. Yeah. Have a good Take one, buddy. You too, my friend. Bye-bye for now.